violent prayers against witchcraft workers. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and declare, let all wicked men who fight against the Holy Spirit in us be confounded and be reduced to nothing. We cover ourselves, families, homes, and possessions with the blood of Jesus Christ. We don't live in fear, we live in power. Let the judgment of Jehovah be against those who have judged your people falsely in the name of Jesus. Father, send your judgment upon the workers of evil and iniquity. We pray for your intervention, standing on the promises of your word. We carry the seed and DNA of the Messiah. If you oppose us, then you are an enemy of God. And we command that you be cut off in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you are a just God. Therefore, you will pay back trouble to those who have troubled us. God of Elijah, arise and fight with fire, all humans deploying evil spirits to harm us in the name of Jesus. We speak severe torment by holy fire upon the life and work of any person functioning as an agent of Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel and return every curse spoken and released over our pictures on social media in the name of Jesus. We issue judgment to every person using our possessions to send destruction our way. We arrest you and bind you to torment in the name of Jesus Christ. Let our finances be cleansed from all witchcraft control from agents of Satan in the name of Jesus. Let all mysterious and secret witchcraft attacks be exposed and thwarted in the name of Jesus. Let the curses that evil men love to pronounce fall back on them in the name of Jesus. In the realm of the Spirit, to all that raise their hand to oppress us, let the sword of the Lord strike that hand. You agent of Satan that has raised your hand against my church or ministry, let your hands be burnt by holy fire and your power be cut off by the sword of the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. We revoke the fiery darts of shame, failure, and defeat fired against us. We return them to the sender sevenfold in the name of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus, let our names be blotted out from their books and nullify all curses they have spoken. Let the tongue of agents of Satan burn whenever they mention our names in the name of Jesus. We target evil men blocking our progress with disgrace and shame. May their names be forgotten. Father, wherever they have placed our names or likeness on evil altars, let them be cursed by the same witchcraft in the name of Jesus. We speak to every witchcraft pollutions, elements, deposits, and materials planted in our bodies. Be melted by the fire of God and be flushed out of our bodies by the blood of Jesus Christ. We cancel all seeds of poverty planted into our lives. Let our monetary transactions be cleansed by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. We revoke all witchcraft control originating from the marine kingdom against our finances, family, ministry, and church. Be revoked now by the fire of God. We thank you for the continual onslaught of judgment against our human enemies until repentance, surrender, or death in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask through Jesus Christ, let your angels be in a relentless war against the principalities, powers, marine spirits, and witchcraft covens operating in the regions of our homes and churches. Sovereign God, we ask that you will pronounce death upon every agent of Satan coming together in agreement against our lives, families, marriages, and ministry in the name of Jesus. Let agents of Satan in this region fall by the sword of the vengeance of the Lord. Let the sword of the vengeance of the Lord avenge for this ministry and your people. Let the secret places of witchcraft power in this region be exposed and uprooted by the power of the Holy Spirit. We cancel the assignment of all spirits sent to cause us to struggle. We command you return to your sender by the force and power of our prayers. Whatever new evil and harm they have pronounced and sent against us, we speak 
by greater power and authority, and we return into the sender's bosom in the name of Jesus. We bind the financial flow of all agents of Satan in this region. We command your source of money to dry up in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we lift our hands in agreement, we thank you for our complete deliverance from demonic attacks from humans using bewitchment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Almighty God, the righteous judge, we stand in your presence today, calling upon your holy name to release judgment against every work of witchcraft and idolatry that rises against your people. We declare that you alone are God, the one who reigns in majesty and power. All forces of darkness and the idolatrous practices of men are subject to your authority. Arise, O God, and let every work of darkness be scattered. Psalm 68, verse 1. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare that no weapon fashioned against us through witchcraft or idolatry shall prosper. Your word declares in Deuteronomy 18, verses 10 to 12, that witchcraft, divination, and sorcery are abominations before you, and those who practice them will not stand. We speak forth that every evil altar where our names, likeness, or any representation of our lives have been placed is now consumed by the fire of God. Let the wicked hands that set those altars be withered and broken, and may they see their power utterly reduced to nothing. Isaiah 47, verses 12 to 14. We speak against every spirit of divination and witchcraft operating against our families, our ministries, and our destinies. Just as you struck down the prophets of Baal and exposed the futility of their false worship, 1 Kings 18 verses 38 to 40, let your power descend like consuming fire upon every witchcraft and idol set up against us. We command the fire of God to burn every evil altar and every idol dedicated to harm us, and may the ashes be blown away by the wind of your spirit. Lord, we invoke the authority of your word in Nahum 3 verse 4, which speaks against the sorceries and witchcraft that lead nations astray. We declare that the strongholds of witchcraft and the sorcery networks established against us will be demolished. We send confusion into their camps and decree that their spells, charms, and incantations will no longer have any effect. Let the eyes of those who seek to curse us be blinded, and their hands fail to perform their wicked tasks. Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, rise up as a man of war. Just as you fought for Israel against their enemies and drowned Pharaoh's army in the Red Sea, Exodus 14, verses 26 to 28, we ask that you fight against every agent of darkness and witchcraft practitioner who seeks our downfall. Let their evil plans backfire, and let every snare they set become their own destruction. We declare Psalm 35, verses 1 to 8 over our lives. Contend with those who contend with us, and let their ways be dark and slippery. Let the angel of the Lord pursue them until their plans crumble. We lift up our hands and plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our families, our possessions, and our destinies. We declare that the blood of Jesus is our covering and our shield. By the authority of Revelation 12 verse 11, we overcome every power of darkness and witchcraft by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Let the blood of Jesus speak against every evil altar and every incantation aimed at our lives, rendering them powerless and void. Father, we declare that those who persist in their wickedness, refusing to repent, shall face the judgment of the Lord. As your word says in Psalm 7, verses 11 to 13, you are a righteous judge who expresses his wrath every day. We ask that you sharpen your sword against the unrepentant, 
those who continue to practice sorcery and idolatry and let your arrows of judgment find them. May the curses they pronounce return to them sevenfold and may the very altars they have erected to harm us become their own destruction. Lord, we stand on Micah 5 verse 12 where you promise to cut off witchcraft from the land and we declare that every source of witchcraft in our region is cut off in the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel every evil assignment of monitoring spirits, diviners, and false prophets sent against our homes, our finances, and our ministries. We release the sword of the Lord against every unclean spirit and command that they be driven out of our territory. We declare that every idol worshipped in our region, every power of darkness that claims authority, and every spirit of manipulation working through human vessels must bow to the name of Jesus Christ. As you declare judgment against the false gods of Egypt, Exodus 12, verse 12, we ask that you strike down every false power and let your name be exalted above all. Let those who set up these idols and work against your people see the futility of their actions and be confounded. We lift up our voices and decree that our families are free from all witchcraft control and manipulation. We declare that our finances are cleansed by the blood of Jesus and shielded from any curses or spells. Let every financial curse and spirit of poverty be broken and let the abundance and provision of God flow into our lives. We speak deliverance over every area of our lives that has been touched by evil hands and we declare complete freedom in the name of Jesus. Father God, let every wicked person who practices witchcraft and idolatry and refuses to repent be struck with the judgment they have sought to place on others. May they experience the sword of the Lord as it avenges for the sake of your people. Deuteronomy 32 verse 41. We ask that you expose their secret works, uproot their evil schemes, and bring their plans to nothing. As we stand in unity, and agreement. We proclaim that every work of witchcraft and idolatry in our region is broken. We thank you for the victory and the deliverance you bring through the power of your spirit. Let the agents of darkness who refuse to repent and those who seek to harm your church face the judgment they deserve. And may they recognize that there is no God but you. We seal this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ and we decree that it is so by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.